Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Let's talk about the seven ways to recognize that you have grown as a person and in your relationship. Stay tuned. Hey family, welcome back. Let's talk about those seven ways to recognize how you have grown as a person and in your relationship. Now, the very first one is that you do not respond the way that you used to respond. So your partner could have done something to you or used to do something to you and now they, they do the same thing to you, but you do not respond the same way. So you don't get as pissed off. You know, you, you notice that you do not need to yell about this thing. You are just cool, calm, and collective and and you might even just look at look at him or look at her and just make a noise like hmm. because you have now recognized that everything that happens in your relationship does not need to be talked about it doesn't that's how you know you have grown as a person and in your relationship period the second one kind of goes into the first one which is you now know that you have the ability to hold your tongue and not say something about any and everything that has happened in your relationship or that your partner does or maybe even your children have done to you. Sometimes uh, or back in the day when you were a different person, you decided to yell and scream about any and everything that you felt was wrong. You needed to get it off your chest. You needed to get it out so they could hear it. And basically you was making everybody's life around you just miserable because you was miserable yourself and so now because you have grown in your relationship and grown as a person you know that you can hold your tongue about certain topics and certain situations it's not that serious you just let that one blow over the next way to see that you have actually grown as a person in your relationship and just as a person period is that you now can show sympathy and empathy toward others so before you was basically selfish <laughs> and you felt like the world re revolved around you and only time that you wanted people to or, or the only time that you paid attention to other people's issues and problems is when you could relate to it but you was never that person like that listening ear or that shoulder that somebody could cry in that was not you and now you're more sympathetic and empathetic to people's situations because you yourself have now gone through situations where you could relate to people and a lot of times okay so say for instance sometimes you we're, we're growing as people and um, we'll say things before we've gotten into a situation so you stay in this relationship after your partner has cheated on you but before before you were ever in that situation you're like oh no I never let nobody cheat on me I'm, I'm gone I'm doing all X Y and Z no and then after you've gone through a situation like that now you're more able to relate and sympathize and empathize with somebody else's situation you can share your story now whether or not you stay with the partner or not is something different but at the time you went through the situation the person cheated on you you forgave them and then you moved on but prior to being in that situation you like oh no 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 I'm not doing X Y and Z right another situation could have happened like you're saying before you got into a situation your partner didn't have any money and then you were the you were the breadwinner winner you were the breadwinner you were taking care of the household but before you got in a situation like that and fed in love and really started caring for this person you're like oh no 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 if, if he loses his job then I'm out if she loses her job then I'm out you to this is what you're telling your friends but once you get in that situation you're like you know what well you know things could work out and you're basically trying to figure out a way so you're more sympathetic and empathetic to other people's situations and now you can share your stories with them to help them out and let them know you know what you can push through the situation because I did and I also was like you I didn't think that I would be able to make it but I was able to make it and then you tell your story to them and you can relate to them now they can relate to you this next one actually is big. It's where you continuously love your partner and show love and affection toward your partner even when they are not doing the same to you or for you. Because sometimes we are all in um, different areas within our relationships and sometimes we want the love and affection but maybe your, your partner is working on a project or something or just really wrapped up in their own world and they, they really just can't show you the love and attention and affection that you want and need yourself you 
know that you have grown as a person and in your relationship when you're still able to share that love and still give it to your partner. The next one, you know that you have grown as a person and in your relationship when you know that you do not have to be right about every single argument. Even if you're right about every single argument, you don't have to tell your partner, you know what, I'm right, you're wrong, I told you so. I mean, you know, you're going down the list of all of these things to make your partner feel bad. Or then they, and then your partner might even shut down and just stop wanting to share certain things with you because nobody wants to hear how wrong they are all the time. So instead of you saying, you know what, you was wrong, you should have did it this way, now you flip it because you've grown in your relationship and now it, the conversation is more like, you know what, baby, you actually tried. I'm proud of you for trying. And then, you know, this is what you can do. Um, hopefully next time you can take these, into, these things into consideration and change things that way so it can work out for you better next time. See? Same situation, different way to word it. Partners are feeling more appreciated. They can come to you more. You guys can keep the connection up. You still can um, share things together, even if it's in a negative light, or at least the situation seems like it's negative. You guys can still connect and share with one another and be each other's cheerleader. You know that you are growing in your relationship and as a person when you know that you can create the environment and happy life that you want. It all starts up in here. It's your mindset. So if your mindset is about the negative lifestyle, that is all you're going to get. If your mindset is all about trying to create a happy, healthy environment all around you with you and your spouse, including your children, then you will have a happier life. Make sure that you are being grateful and showing gratitude to your, toward your partner as well as your children. You will start to receive these things back. It might not be in the very beginning, but at some point it's going to click and everybody's going to be more grateful. And your whole household, the shift in the energy within your household is going to change. Your household will be much happier. In turn, you're going to be much happier. And you'll see that you have grown as a person. Your children are taking the information in that you and your spouse are giving to them non-verbally. Because they watch everything that we do. And they're taking it all in. And what you are doing in front of your children is exactly what they're going to do in front of their children. Somebody has to stop the generational curses that we have. So we can be more positive. So we can be that much more happier in our lives, in our relationships. That's every relationship. Be more positive. Your kids are watching. Finally, you realize, my sister, you realize, my brother, that you are a work in progress. All of us are a work in progress. None of us are perfect, so we don't have any of these things down packed, per se. And, uh, yeah, all of these things wrapped together. So now you see that you are growing as a person, but you are a work in progress, and you and your spouse can work together to build the relationship that you want, to create the life that you want, to envision it all, and then start planning how to do that step by step by step. You'll get there. So now, has any of these things actually resonated with you? How do you know that you have grown as a person within, within your relationship and just in your person as well? I would love to read those comments in the comment section below. And let me just mention that I am getting ready to do the um, one month of vlogging next month in March. So go ahead and start sending me your questions on I, I'm really on Instagram and Twitter and then my information is in the description box below so go ahead and start sending me those questions if you don't want to put it on my walls then definitely DM me that is just fine I'm ready to start receiving the questions so I can do basically like a vlog every single day in the month of March can't wait to do it can't wait to read your questions I will see you guys in the next video deuces